fun with magnets. Class 6. Science. Learning Objectives. Discovery of Magnets. Magnets and their poles. Using a magnet to find directions. Attraction and repulsion. Types of magnets. Care of magnets. And, uses of magnets. There are many stories, about how magnets were discovered. According to a popular story, a magnet was discovered by a Greek shepherd named, Magnus. It is said that, the nails in his shoes, and the iron tip of his staff, got stuck to a large black rock on which he was standing. Greeks named this strange type of rock, magnetite. The Chinese also knew about magnets. Ancient Chinese sailors used magnets for navigation. A magnet attracts objects made of certain substances such as iron, cobalt, and nickel. Magnets come in various shapes and sizes. Such as, horseshoe magnet, ring magnet, bar magnet, cylindrical magnet, etc. Materials, that are attracted by a magnet are called, magnetic materials. Example, iron, and nickel. Materials, that are not attracted by a magnet are called, non-magnetic materials. Example, wood, and plastic. When magnetic materials are brought close to a magnet, they do not stick evenly, to all parts of the magnet. Most of them stick on certain parts of magnet. They are called, the poles of the magnet. Magnetic forces are the strongest, at the poles. There are two types of poles in every magnet, irrespective of its shape. These are called, the North Pole, N, and South Pole, S. The two poles cannot exist independently. If we break a bar magnet, we would get two pieces, each having a North Pole, and a South Pole. If a magnet is allowed to move freely, it comes to rest in a direction, very close to the Earth's north-south direction. This property of magnet, was used to find directions, on the surface of the Earth by travelers. An instrument with a magnet, which is used to find directions is called, magnetic compass. A magnetic compass is usually a small box, with a small magnetic needle, at its center. This needle can rotate freely, and always points, in the Earth's north-south direction. Different directions, that is, east, west, north, and south, are also marked on it. Do you know, why a freely suspended magnet, always points in the Earth's north-south direction? It behaves like it is under the influence of another magnet. But, where is other magnet? It is, Earth itself. When two magnets are brought close to each other, they are either pulled towards each other, or, pushed away from each other. Whether magnets attracts, or repels, depends on, which poles of the magnets are facing each other. When like poles of the magnets are brought close together, they repel. This is called repulsion. When two unlike poles of the magnets are brought close to each other, they tract. This is called attraction. There are two types of magnets. Temporary and permanent. Magnets that retain their properties for a short period are called temporary magnets. Magnets that retain their properties for a long period are called permanent magnets. Temporary magnets are usually made of iron, cobalt, and nickel. Permanent magnets are made from mixtures of iron, cobalt, or nickel, with other materials. These make strong magnets. A magnet can lose its properties due to many reasons, such as dropping from a height, hitting with a hard object such as a hammer, applying heat, or Improper storage can also cause loss of magnetic properties. 
bar magnets should be stored in pairs, with unlike poles alongside each other. A horseshoe magnet should be stored with a piece of soft iron, kept across its poles. Magnets have several uses. Credit cards, ATM cards, and identity cards have strip of magnetic material that stores information. Headphones and speakers of stereo systems use magnets. Refrigerator doors are kept closed with the help of magnets. Magnets are used in picking up substances made of iron from scrapyards. Magnets are used in the food processing industry to purify raw materials by removing impurities in them.